Now we are going to discuss about whether to consider a gain as a capital gain, sorry, when to treat a gain as a capital gain or business income. So for uh, discussing about that, I have taken two examples. I have taken this example, these examples from income tax department official site tutorial, official site tutorials. So in the first scenario, Mr. Kumar purchased a residential house in to Jan 2018 for 84 lakhs and then he sold the house in April 2018 for 19 lakhs. In this case, residential house is a capital asset because this is a residential house. He bought it intentionally for residential purpose. So that's why this is treated as a residential house. The gain that he, that he got nearly 6 lakh rupees will be treated as a capital gains. So Mr. Kumar purchases for the residential purpose. So this gain will be treated as a capital gain. Similarly, this is the second scenario here. Mr. Kapu is a property dealer. So uh, the property dealer or it can be treated, it can be named as property broker. So the main business of the Mr. Kapu or property dealer is resell the flat. So he will try to buy a flat one at uh, some amount and when he takes the profit, he will try to resell that. So similarly, he will, uh, he will buy the another flat and he will the, uh, sell the flat even if he gain some profit. So this is the main job of this uh, Kapoor, who is a property dealer. So he purchased a flat in Jan 2018 for 84 lakh and then he sold in August 2018 for 90 lakh. In this case, Mr. Kapoor is a dealing in properties in this ordinary business. So it comes under his business. So the gain that he got from uh, selling this flat is 6 lakh rupees would be treated as business income. So it won't be treated as capital gains, it would be treated as business income. So we will try to cover the income tax percentages for the business income and also for the capital gains in the upcoming videos. For now just consider when to treat it as a capital gain or business income based on the scenarios and based on your intention.